Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your fifth HTML5 form styling tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how we can style up our select boxes. Okay, so our form is looking a lot better than when we first started. The final part we need to do really, or rather two parts we need to do, is this select box right here and this button and then in the next tutorial we're going to do the validation bit on this. So by default browsers apply their own little styles to these select boxes. You see this little arrow right here and this is in Chrome. In Firefox it looks different and in Internet Explorer it looks different. Now we want to strip out those styles, those default styles and make it look the same across each browser, right? So the way we do that is by using the appearance property on our select box. So if I come here and I say select and then I say appearance and set that equal to none. I'm going to save this now and save it. You'll notice nothing happens. And that's because this isn't fully supported across all browsers. So what we need to do is use vendor prefixes for this to work. So there's four we need to use. WebKit for Chrome and Safari. Uh, Moz for Mozilla Firefox. Um, o for Opera and MS for Microsoft Internet Explorer. So let's fill those in. So what I'm going to do is copy this dude because I'm super lazy and then I'm going to do dash webkit dash and then paste in that appearance none. Okay, so that's the vendor prefix for webkit. Then down here I'm going to do mots for mozilla. Paste that in again. Then I'm going to do o for opera. And then finally I'm going to do ms for internet explorer. So now if I save this, this has worked. It's removed that little arrow and the padding and any other styles it might apply to these select boxes by default. So now we can just have free reign of how they look. Cool. So what I'm going to do is just enter twice, come down and leave a gap between the rest of the styles. And the first thing I want to say is display as block. Then I'm going to give it a margin of 30 pixels top and bottom, zero left and right. And I'm going to say padding is going to be 10 pixels to the top. 50 pixels to the right and that's because we're going to pop an image in there and then 10 pixels to the bottom 10 pixels to the left save that now we should see this start to take shape so we're going to pop our image our custom image to show that it's a select box right there now that image is in the image folder it's called select.png and you can barely see it's two little gray arrows one going up and one going down so let's apply that background image to the select box we'll say background URL and then it's in the images folder then it's forward slash select.png we're going to say no repeat so it doesn't repeat over and over we're also going to position it along the x coordinate 95% uh, to the right so it's going to be all the way over here but just leave a little gap and then we're also going to position it um, vertically in the center like so so let's save that and now we can see that background image right there cool we also want to give this a background color. Okay, so let's say background color and set that equal to 222. And we'll also give it a color, the text of white instead of black. So we'll say color is FFF. And let's save that again. Okay, cool. This is starting to look a lot better. Now, I also want to give it those rounded corners and thicken up the border a little bit. So, first of all, I'll say border radius is going to be four pixels and then the border itself is going to be two pixels solid and white so let's save that and take a look okay cool that's looking nice now uh, finally i want to give it a width so it kind of comes out and matches the end of these so i'll say width is going to be about 280 pixels save that dude and now it kind of goes in line with these almost it's not exact but hey ho there we go so there's our select box styled. Pretty nice, right? So finally, let's just do this button down here, or this input with a type of submit rather. So we'll say input type equals submit. And we're going to style this dude up. First of all, let's give it a background. And this is going to be like a, a reddish color. And it is B6 1111. Save that, make sure it's right. OK, yeah, there it is. Cool. Now we want to make it a little bigger, so we'll say padding is going to be 15 pixels. I'm also going to make it a color of white, and then I'm going to give it a font size of around 20 pixels. I'm going to set the letter spacing 
to 0.1 m's and then I'm going to give it a border radius as well of 4 pixels just to make it more rounded at the edges as well so 4 pixels and we'll save that see how it's looking okay looking a lot better I want to get rid of that white border though so I'm going to say border is 0 I'm also going to give it a box shadow so we get a little shadow around the edges of this button so it looks as though it's coming out from the page just a little bit so I'll say box shadow and this is going to be set equal to one pixel three pixel and five pixels and also I'm going to use RGBA for the color of it so we can set an opacity so that's zero 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 point five so that's black and then zero point five opacity at the end so we'll save that yep that's looking a little nicer now and finally what I want to do is just make it the same width as this thing here so by the way if you don't know much about box shadow then I'll leave a link to my uh, CSS for beginners tutorial series down below I think I go over it in that so check it out there um, then what I'm gonna do down here is say width 280 pixels save that and then that lines up as well cool so this is now looking a lot nicer a nice little form so in the final tutorial, what I'm going to do is show you a little kind of validation technique to show the user when a particular um, field, these two in particular, is valid and they can move on by showing a little tick and a border around the input field itself.